Oh, man. Juma bags. Yeah, we definitely got to talk about this one. Roll it. Welcome back, window lickers. Before we begin, though, I want to give a quick shout out to all my channel members. You see them on your screen right now. They're all looking pretty cool, I might think. Thank you very much. You guys are pretty damn awesome. I might say so myself. And if anybody watching also maybe wants to consider becoming a channel member, feel free to press the join button next to the subscribe button. And I also have some merch that you see on your screen right now. If anyone wishes to get some hoodies, mugs or what have you, the link to that merch is in the description alongside with my Discord link. And of course, Jesus. Hello, window lickers. Uh, I mean, mortals. It's me, your favorite almighty Lord and Savior Jesus and Galactic Underwear's YouTube channel is the answer to your prayers. I myself abandoned the Tower of the Mad Mage to come down here to give you this heavenly message. I, I mean, I am the most reputable person, like, ever. So subscribe to Galactic and like all his videos. He's out of this world. Follow Galactic and he'll shine a light on your path to salvation. Jesus. You know it's sad times when something held in such high regard turns into something completely opposite to what it should have been. And now poor old Juma is forced to carry around a bag that is way past its usefulness, which clearly means a lot of the stuff is outdated. And yeah, he has to carry that around. But Juma bags used to be fantastic. They really were. And the reason they used to be great was because Juma was one of the only sources of getting some highly sought after rewards, like the Zuna for example, before she got nerfed to the ground and became literally useless. Juma bags do have a few nice rewards that are useful even now, like coalescent moats and the pseudo dragon and the Staldorf and companion tokens and dragon keys and, and maybe some genies gifts and a few other decent companions. But for the most part, Juma is a waste of time these days. And there are multiple reasons for the downfall of Juma. What are these reasons you might be asking yourself? Well, the reasons are mostly one, reward, two, saturation, three, value, four, drop rates, five, unsellability, and six, time. But I will dive into those slowly, one by one. So let's start with rewards. You can view Juma as a collector of all things a few things of value, and a lot of items of lesser value. His bag does have a lot of items in them, and I mean a lot. The number is literally in the hundreds. You can find anything from some below average gear to companion tokens, health stones, to companion and mounts of all sorts, to even genie's gifts and coalescent modes. But all these rewards from Juma bags are not as good as they used to be. What made Juma so attractive was that his rewards were not found everywhere or anywhere for the most part. There were very few sources that offered what Juma offered. I mean, the Zuna, for example, back in the day, used to be an insanely expensive companion worth roughly around 10 million Astro Diamonds or more, you know, depending on the time. And there was a chance that Juma can grant you just that, a Zuna. And if you got it, it would be bound to you. You wouldn't be able to sell her to make Astral Diamonds, for example, but you wouldn't have to buy her either. And she was the top of the DPS companions by far back then. So players actively farm the crap out of Juma for a chance at a Zuna. That kind of rhymed. But anyways, forget it. Also, the gear was more useful back then too. Now with better and better gear never went to the usefulness of gear in Juma bags has greatly diminished. Also, 95% or more of Juma's rewards are kind of useless or will only be used temporarily until something better comes along. Granted, usefulness depends on perspective too, so the rewards are much better for those who are collection freaks or hoarders who just enjoy grabbing every type of mount or companion in the game. And Juma does have an abundance of random companions and mounts as you see on your screen right now. But for everybody else, not so much. Of course, new players will get excited with Juma since they probably don't have any better items to begin with. But after a while, they too will realize that the rewards are not as good as they thought. Sure, some players get lucky and get one or two coalescent motes in, in seven or ten bags, but that is not the norm. And they might even get a pseudo dragon or an Albert Cub, a Staldorf with their first few bags. And of course, they will think that Juma is awesome, and they have every right to be if, you know, 
they only opened a few bags and got something good. But Juma can be awesome initially and could help someone initially if they're lucky. But most of the time, and for most of us, that will not be the case. Since you'll get a couple of decent rewards out of a possible hundreds of Juma bags, you know, or more. Plus, Juma also has some worthless potions that nobody ever uses. Which takes us to the next reason, which is saturation. Juma used to be, like I said earlier, one of the only sources, or in quotations, free ways to get various types of rewards. But since these new lockboxes came out, the auction house has become saturated with basically everything that Juma had, or things you could mostly only find in Juma once upon a time. Nowadays, all those mounting companions that Juma had are in the auction house for dirt cheap. So why would someone spend hours farming Juma when he can literally just buy what he wants for a super cheap price from the auction house? Lock boxes are the new Juma bags, but the paid version. Juma is free, in quotations, which he's really not, but we'll get to that later. And lock boxes are not. But Juma also doesn't have as many of the high-end and expensive rewards that lock boxes have. You know, like mythic insignias and mounts and, you know, a whole bunch of other shit. Another reason for the saturation is a lot more mounts and companions drop from dungeons nowadays. Like, a lot more. So those once exclusive mounts and companions that you could rarely ever find except in Juma bags for the most part are now dropping like candy everywhere you look. You don't believe me? Look at my inventory. These are from dungeon chests. And most of them, if not all, are in Juma bags. And if you go to the auction house and look at their prices, due to saturation, they're pretty dirt cheap. Companion tokens are also easier to get now as well. And Juma doesn't even drop that many to begin with. Roughly 0.1 companion tokens per individual bag. I've opened a, I have a video opening 10,000 Juma bags. You can go check out the math. I have everything right there. So everywhere you look, there has been a saturation of items that Juma provided for us for some chaotic writings. Which brings us to the next reason, which is value. The value of the items in the Juma bags are very low these days. Even the much sought after nowadays pseudo dragon can't hold a candle to the Zuna. In fact, all the rewards in a Juma bag now combined cannot compare to the value of the old Zuna that we used to have. I mean, that isn't even poor Juma's fault. He just provides what the devs put in his bag. But for people to want to farm Juma bags, there has to be some sort of incentive, some value, something that will make you say, hey, fuck, I just want to go farm Juma bags. I remember back in the day, even though I had the Zuna, I'd farm Zuna just to see if I can get her for an alternate character or just to see if she would drop it all. Juma used to be exciting because the value of his bags actually meant something. His bags have not been upgraded since. He just carries the same old stuff around regardless of their value, their usefulness, or their cost. And I'm not just trying to be mean to Juma. I like the idea of Juma. I even recently told Brett Norton in the interview that I had with him that we should get a Juma in every zone. And he said maybe they'll get Juma to visit the strongholds. While I wouldn't hold him to it, he did say it. You know, there's value in Juma. And it would be cool if Juma did get a small upgrade. I'm not saying they should add tons and tons of value, but some value should be added. Maybe some epic or mythic insignias on occasion, even at a low drop rate. Maybe even a chance at a mythic mount here and there. Maybe even some middling gear that players can actually use that's an upgrade to the old gear and maybe a slightly better companion token drop rate since they drop from literally everywhere now. And that takes us to the next topic, which is drop rates. Now let's talk about the drop rates of those sought after Juma bags that are not so much sought after nowadays. There's literally not many people farming them anymore. Not like they used to anyways. So if you didn't know, I made a video a few months ago opening 10,000 Juma bags. Yep, 10,000 Juma bags. Not 100, not 1,000. 10,000. So I got a pretty good sample size of what Juma has to offer and what the drop rates actually are. Let me tell you, they are horrid. 33% of the drop rates are utterly useless potions and gear and of course chickens. You know how that goes. So here's an example of the drop rates in 10,000 Juma bags. I got 11 Wild Hunt Riders, which is a pretty expensive and decent companion and he can help you cap your combat advantage. He sells for about 800,000 AD on PC at the moment at green level. So getting 11 Wild Hunt Riders is like getting one Wild Hunt Rider in 1,000 bags. That's insanely bad. Another better example is the Pseudo Dragon, which is one of the best damage companions in Juma bags. I got 9 of those in 10,000 Juma bags, which is less than 1 per 1,000 Juma bags. I got 7 Colmotes, 5 Green Slimes, 4 Mystagogues, 3 Owlbears, and it just keeps getting worse. Yeah, sure, Juma bags don't need enchanted keys, but they take forever to gather, just for a very low chance of getting something you possibly might want. But if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, outside of a few Colmotes, Companions, Scrolls of Life, 
companion tokens, and maybe some stones of health, not much is good with Juma bags these days. I mean, the companion token drop rates are even worse. You get like 0.1 tokens per bag. That's absolutely ridiculous. I mean, who are we kidding with these drop rates? Which leads us to the unsellable part. Everything from poor old Juma is bound to account. You can't sell a single thing outside of Genie's Gifts. For some reason, Genie's Gifts are okay to sell, but everything else is off limits. I never did understand those choices, to be honest. You know, do they sit in an office somewhere and make these choices collectively? Like, like, how does this even happen? How does this even become a choice? Also, everything being unsellable also adds to the problem of Juma not being that good anymore, since you can't sell anything from its bags, especially if you already have those items. And especially if you already have those items and you don't want to pass them to your alts, you should be able to sell them. But if we're going to be completely fair nowadays, maybe it's a good thing that you can't sell anything from Juma, since all these companions and mounts are also included in the new lockboxes and in chest rewards and basically saturated the market already. Unbinding Juma items would only make it worse at this point. So there is no profit to be made from Juma bags, and making things unbound will probably make the market worse. Now to the most important part of why Juma bags are not really that good anymore. And that reason is time. I don't know if you guys have ever noticed or ever considered this, but time is the most valuable currency in the game. Time determines everything, especially how much you earn or lose. How you use that time does make a difference. So to farm Juma bags takes a lot of time. On a non-event day where you don't get double the chaotic writings, you need to complete two apes to get one bag. Even if you complete two apes per 10 minutes, that's six Juma bags, 12 on a double currency day. On average, anyways, you might be able to get a little bit more. So if you farm Juma for 10 hours, for example, you'll get around 100 to 130 Juma bags. How much do you think you would be able to get back value-wise from Juma during all those 10 hours that you farmed them? Unless you're extremely lucky, you'll get hardly anything back to make up for those 10 hours. In 10 hours, you can farm the first boss and boss and get whiskers way more often you can get something valuable in Juma. You can literally make millions from farming the gardener and getting whiskers and boss, but you will not make millions from Juma bags. Even if you just consider the stupidly easy master of the hunt, you'll be surprised how much we can make doing that. You can make much more than you can do in Juma. But why is that? Because almost everything in those chests are unbound. All the glyphs, the refinement, the comps, the mounts. Thus, we have a chance at trade bars, companion tokens, coals, pres wards, refinement, AD, and unbind tokens. And I, I even have a feeling if you farmed Master of the Hunt for one hour, you could probably make 200k profit per hour just doing that easiest dungeon in the game. But even if it was only 100k, it's way more than Juma has to offer. Juma used to be a method where we used to obtain rare or even unavailable companions in the game. But the game has outgrown Juma. And now it's just a waste of time with very little chance of getting any value back. And the reality is Juma is really not free. Not free at all. You pay for Juma bags with your time. And time is the best currency in Neverwinter. Time can't be refunded. Once time passes, it's gone forever. Time is precious. But most people take time for granted and waste it without a second thought. We all do it. I mean, me, you, Gus, Northside, Pro Vigilance, Santa Claus, the resident stalker with a trench coat. Everybody has wasted time at some point. Time is valuable, and I wouldn't waste my time on Juma bag farms. Now, don't get me wrong. What I'm saying doesn't mean you shouldn't gather some Juma bags when you have a chance. Juma is much better for new players who literally have nothing. But don't go out of your way to farm Juma bags. Even as a new player, you'd make more money and get more value back doing Master of the Hunt or Dungeons of your level. I'd personally only gather Juma bags if I had some quests to do in Valenhas or when double currency events are active. I'd maybe do like one hour's worth and then just bugger off. And I bet most of you have already noticed Juma more often than not doesn't give you anything of value. Juma does need a major upgrade if he's going to survive in the long run. Because as it stands now, Juma isn't that good anymore. That's just facts. I'm not trying to be mean. He's more of a waste of time than something to look forward to. All you have to do is just remember how much time it takes for you to gather those bags. And once you open them, the thing you see the most is chickens and useless potions and outdated gear. And then a few mounts and companions here and there, which are mostly actually useless. And very rarely, you will get something you want in return, like a pseudo dragon or an owlbear or something. Now take it one step further and imagine farming 1,000 Juma bags and only getting one pseudo dragon or one coal moat or even two. A few tokens and a few epic hellstones are not going to save the day. That's 1,000 Juma bags that you just opened. 1,000 Juma bags would take you almost one week to farm, probably more. And if I farmed something for a week, 
I'd expect a good return. But if instead of Juma bags, I farmed master of the hunt for a week or the first boss and boss like the gardener, I'd literally make millions back in value. So imagine how many whiskers I can get in 10 hours, especially with a fast group that can get all the way to the gardener and done in like in five minutes. It's insane value, insane value and insane return. So yeah, that is my take on Juma. It's a waste of time, a waste of everybody's time. He's only meant to be done as you're passing through and for fun during events with friends. Or maybe you just need to complete a collection or something and are passing through and, you know, grab a couple of Juma bags to help out a few people with the apes or whatever. Or maybe you just want to laugh with your friends and hang out. Like, who knows? But most of what he has is super cheap on the auction house. And the good stuff drops very rarely. And there's very few good stuff within Juma bags anyways. It's a shame, really. Juma used to be good, but he's not so much anymore. Your time is best allocated somewhere else. And you can get the companions you need far faster than from Juma by earning the AD yourself in dungeons. So don't let anybody fool you with Juma bags and tell you that they are actually really good. They are really just wasting your time. And even if you get lucky once, doesn't make them good overall. So if somebody comes at me with, oh, I've got two coal moats and 10 Juma bags, yeah, that's good for you. But that's not reality for the rest of the player base. But in the long run, even you, who will brag about those two coal moats, will, you know, get shit. Because the more you do, the less you'll get. So Cryptic needs to put in some work to revive Juma and Juma bags. So in general, even if you get lucky once or twice, it doesn't make them good overall. So Cryptic needs to put in some work to revive Juma and Juma bags. Because as it stands now, he's not really good. And the proof is in the pudding. I mean, no knowledgeable players or endgamers I know or veterans are farming Juma bags for money or for value. They just aren't. Because while they're not completely useless, they're just a bad use of time. Poor old Juma. All I have to say to you is, is that I hope Cryptic whips you back into shape at some point. You have served us well in the past. Maybe your former glory can be revived and restored. Maybe. But for now, not so much. Anyways, that's it for now. Leave your comments below. Do you agree or not? I mean, I did provide the proof. And yeah, whatever. You're allowed to disagree if you want. But you know, I'm not wrong. Galactic here. Peace out. Stay safe.